Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What's up, fourth grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. This is video number 18. All right, so I'm hoping that you have the worksheet that you need for today. If you're like, worksheet? What worksheet? Don't worry, down below or somewhere around this video, there should be a link for you to download the worksheets that you need for this episode, along with the other episodes in the fourth grade FSA boot camp series. So now that you have your worksheet, what I want you to do is pause the video. You're gonna try number one and number two on your own. You're gonna throw down your best. I want you to imagine that these are possible test questions. You're gonna throw everything everything you've got into it and then you're gonna come back and check your work. Don't beat yourself up if you don't get it right. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you out. This is a safe place for us to be able to practice and work together to get you feeling ready and confident and pepped up for the math FSA. So go ahead, pause the video and solve number one and number two on your own and then please don't take too long because I will miss you. I'll see you in a second. All right, fourth grade, welcome back. So you know how we rock and roll. The first thing we're going to do is identify that question type. I'm seeing A, B, C, D. A, B, C, easy as one, two, three. Get back to work, Miss McCarthy. A, B, C, D, and E, what question type is this? It's a multi-select. It is, it is. All right, multi-select because there could be more than one correct answer. Usually a multiple choice has four answer choices and multi-select has more than four. Now that we know that it's a multi-select question, let's go ahead and mark up our text and work this out. Select all means that we are going to try all. Select all the values or the amounts that are equivalent. What does equivalent mean? It sounds so fancy, but it's a word that means equal. Select all of these values that are equal to four and six tenths in decimal form. So there needs to be a decimal point. So here we say four and six tenths. Well, we know that the decimal says and, just like we do here. So four and, that means our four is in the ones place. This is the ones place. It's also known as the whole. Four and, and then we've got tenths and hundredths. So here's the tenths and here's the hundredths. And here we said four and six tenths. So in the tenths place, we need to put the digit six, which would read the same as four and six tenths. Okay, do you see that as an answer choice? Yeah, at B. 
right there. But remember, this is a multi-select. So let's actually go through each one. A says 46 hundredths, because we've got tenths, hundredths. B says four and six tenths. C says four and six D hundredths, which actually makes sense because over here, we don't even have anything in the hundredths place. And if there's nothing there, it could look like that. It's the same thing, they're equivalent, which means that C should also be an answer choice too. D says four, oh, I forgot to eliminate A. D says 46, well, no, although we have four and six, they're in the wrong place. And 460, we do have 460 hundredths, but not 460 ones, so we can eliminate that. All right, so your correct answers here are B and C. Let's go ahead and take a look at number two. <gasps> we have rows, we have columns. It's my favorite kind of question type. It's a matching item. I don't know what it is about these, but I always get so excited to solve them. So here we have, we, oh, <laughs> let's read the directions. I, I'm ready to jump right in. It says match each fraction. Looks like these are our fractions down here. With the equivalent, ooh, there's that fancy word again that means equal decimal notation. Okay, decimal notation is the same thing as decimal form, just the way that you write a number. So here we have two and one tenth. For that, we would have two and, here's the tenths place, here's the hundredths place, we need a one tenth, which looks a lot like B. Let's bubble it in. The next one we have two and equals two and one hundredth. So tenths, hundredths place. I need a one right here, but I also need what in the tenths place? A zero. Two and one hundredth looks a lot like C or D. C. Okay. And then we have two and ten hundredths. Two and ten landing in the hundredths place. So tenths, hundredths. And I need the zero to land in the hundredths place. That would read it as two and ten hundredths. That's correct. All right. So which one looks like that? E or F? F. All right. That's how you do these two. Okay. So at this time, go ahead and pause the video and make any adjustments to your paper that you need to make. And then when you're ready, make sure you come back because I want to point you in the direction for some more practice. All right, y'all. So if you know that you need some more practice with the skill that we worked on today, I want you to check out the link below for McCarthy Math 155. And you're going to want to pay close attention to unit nine. This is the unit that talks all about tenths and hundredths and relating fractions and decimals. And by the end of unit nine from McCarthy Math 155, you should feel very confident because you've gotten tons of practice, okay? Now, in order to access the videos for McCarthy Math 155, you do need to become a member. However, I give everybody a free seven day trial to check it out. Now, if you're a teacher and you're wanting to share these videos with your students, I walk you through how to do that on my website and just click the tutorials tab, video number five, all right? check that out. The next link that I would like to point you in the right direction is to my How to Pass the Math FSA series. This was a series that I created several years ago back when the FSA was a computer-based test. Now it's a paper-based test, so the question styles look a little bit different here and there. It's still great practice, it's still standards-based, but you just have to keep in mind that the FSA is not a computer-based test for most. I would love for you to stay in the loop with everything going on with McCarthy Math Academy, so to do that, feel Feel free to follow me on my Instagram or Facebook account, both of which you can search at McCarthy Math Academy. I'm also here on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. In fact, if you're watching this from YouTube, if you could do me a favor and smash that like button, that would be super duper awesome amazing. Not just because it makes me feel good, but because you're supporting my mission. You see, I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for
for as many third, fourth, and fifth graders as possible. So you can help me out by smashing that like button because it helps me to reach more students. And that's my goal. I don't want students to struggle forever with math. I want them to enjoy it. Thank you guys so much. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a reason. That's right. You are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have that choice. And oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see you all on the next episode. Bye guys.